this. Yeah, but this is what I'm trying to say. It's like I have become better at explaining what I believe after having all these discussions. Because you're coming you've close to Islam, you, you've asked me a lot of questions, yeah, and it's made me realize, okay, what I was saying didn't make sense. So I want to talk a little bit about Muhammad today. Yeah, sure. Uh, a bit about maybe even. Maybe have you read anything about Prophet Muhammad, and so if so, I, from I, where? I was reading a bit about kind of the, his um, biography. His, his, um, his, his some of his visions, like the vision where his initial vision in the cave. That wasn't a vision. So, not vision. I mean, I don't know, so <laughs> it I mean, was a real. Yeah, this, this is what I mean. when, it was reality. He, he met, saw an angel. When he met the angel in yes. the cave, when he was meditating and praying. Yeah. And um, in, the, in I was I was reading the Sahih Al Bukhari. Um, Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. So Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. What I'm saying on. is, yeah. why do you believe that that story is number one reliable, and number two? Why do you regard Muhammad to be an actual prophet yeah. who came in the name of the God of the Old Testament, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Okay. Why, why do you, why do you so, believe? for the first question, first why, question is, yeah. why, do, why is that experience something that we believe is reliable? Yeah, you know, Prophet Muhammad sallam, himself did not believe what happened to him, what happened, or what he saw. He was, he was shocked himself. Yeah. Yes, and he ran to his, uh, his, his wife Khadija radiallahu anha. And he, uh, he, he, he was in a state of shock yeah. and surprise as to what happened to him. And she didn't know either. Yeah. So then they went to uh, the cousin of Khatija Radilana. He was actually a scholar of the yeah. Torah, yeah. who is to translate the Torah into uh, the Arabic language. So he was someone who was known as a, as a scholar during his time. So because they did not understand, they went to uh, this scholar and he was the one who informed him that this, um, this uh, uh, individual or this entity that you saw was actually the same angel who came to previous prophets. Yeah, so so you he mentioned Moses as well. Yeah. So all the prophets, when they got the message from uh, from from God, they would receive it through an angel, and the angel would come in the form of a man or whatever form uh, God saw uh, fitting at that time. They came in that form, and this is how because he was a scholar of the Torah, he knew that in the Torah similar stories of other previous prophets were there. And because he relates it from a different religion, you know, he's, he's actually a Christian. And he relates it from a different religion. And he said that if I lived long enough, I would follow you. But he also said, he also warned uh, Prophet Muhammad and Khadija Radilan that this is something that uh, is going to be dangerous to you. That people would want to harm you and people would want to kill you and all that. Because yeah. uh, the previous prophets also faced these threats. Yeah, exactly. You see what I mean? So that is one or one of the earliest uh, revelation, or oh, sorry, the first revelation which came to Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. By the way, you know the Quran came over a period of 23 years. Yeah, exactly. So even though that was the first revelation, there were many other revelations which came yeah. uh, through the angel the throughout his life sorry, over a period of 23 years. So because it's happened uh, to the previous Prophet, so we don't think it's something unique to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. So if, if you can believe it for the other Prophets, why is it such a big problem if we believe it for our profit? I would say if you use that rationalization, yeah. that, 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 may, that may seem to be the case, but I, just, I, um, I don't even have an issue with the idea that Muhammad had a spiritual experience. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the second question in the name of the, of the God of Abraham and Moses and so on, yes, we believe it is Prophet Muhammad, the, the God that the, he preached, is the one true God who Abraham believed in, who Moses believed in, who Jacob believed in, who all the other prophets believed in, be they from Israel or outside Israel, they all believed in one true God. And as we discussed earlier, none of them actually claimed to believe uh, a multi-personal God, yes.